Today we're back at the Tesla dealership. We're pulling in. Either we got robbed or Maco beat us here to set up. Oh, yep, there's his car. He's getting all the new vehicles unloaded. And they are electric scooters. Check them out. Morning, Maco. How's it going? Morning, Ian. Hey, uh, getting all the new scooters unloaded? Yes, sir. If we just put them in the showroom, we'll be good. All right. First of all, there was a guy that called me yesterday. He's coming to trade his Dodge Hellcat. It's a 2021. He wants to buy a Model X Tesla or just look around the lot. He doesn't really know what he wants. Could be a Model S. He's not sure. Whatever's the fastest, probably. He said he was complaining about gas prices, but, you know, we don't have to worry about that. We have electric vehicles, man. But anyways, let's get these scooters unloaded. That's our first task. Second task is we're going to be going to pick up some new equipment. And the third task is we're going to deal with the customer. Sound good? Sounds good. Perfect. All right. Here, I'll help you unload these. So we got a white version. And then there's like a chrome version on it. So that's, uh, you know, they're a nice color package. Oh. Gonna drive it in. The battery's gonna die on you. Hey, I wanna have some fun too. Check it out. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Donuts, baby. Also, we got the vehicles opened up in the showroom. Here's our Model X. Looking good. Got everything opened up. Trunk, wing doors, hood, everything. And then we got a Model S in here. But we still gotta get the Model Y. It's on its way. Semi's there. Hey, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I heard that uh, like button. It gives you a cookie. Hold on. Here, try it here. Just tap it right there. There you go. There's your chocolate chip cookie. You're welcome. Thanks for hitting the like button, boys. But yeah, we are good. Mako's got all the scooters off. Almost. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to head on over to pick up the new equipment. He's going to be excited because it's a forklift. The service department needs a nice forklift and a little tractor. And of course, they're electric. I mean, what do you mean? The Tesla dealership. Of course, it's going to be. And then I also got one more. It's a telehandler with an extended boom on it. It works really good. It, we're able to lift up vehicles with it. It's, uh, I think it's 10 tons max capacity. So that's never been done before. I think it was invented by some famous scientist. All right, Mako, we're good to head on over to the dealer. That's all the uh, heavy equipment we're going to be using. It's going to be nice for the service guys. They're getting tons of work on top of them. So they need the nice tools to get the job done faster. I think we got 20 people lined up just to get oil changes today. Kidding, kidding. You don't get oil changes in electric vehicles. Oh, deer. There's deer. Oh, geez. No, but actually, there's 20 people lined up just to get new batteries put in. Every couple years, you got to refresh the batteries, keep them long distance range. The guy said we could use a trail. Oh, no, you're not really going to do that. Um, How's it towing? Is it work? All right, guys. Mako's got his trailer hitch hooked up to his big techs here i mean this thing tows are pretty good it's not squatting too much but hopefully once we get this equipment on it'll be about the same all right we'll get a little tractor here it's called a ske 50 i don't know it's a european brand it's a nice little uh tractor though works good mini snow plow on top too here's the telehandler with the extended boom see i can just reach it out here the forks go in too, which is nice. So when we're picking up soon to be cyber quads and other stuff like that, it's easy to just, you know, scoop underneath and you can just lift it up in the air. Look at that. That's crazy. It works. You can just leave it up. Mako, you know how I'm a genius, right? Yes, you're a genius. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the forklift with the telehandler. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Mako. I thought this was 10 tons. Pull the boom in. Pull the boom in. The forklift's pretty heavy as well. what we're going to do is we're going to put the telehandler on the forks of the forklift because this thing isn't crazy heavy, but the forklift can lift anything. So hop in the forklift and lift me up here, okay? There he goes. Keep going. Yep. Okay, that is that max? Oh, go a little bit more and tilt it back. Tilt the boom back. Other way. There you go. Now you're even. So now drive it on the trailer. I think you're going to have to probably go full speed to get up on this trailer. Look at that. That's going to be perfect for cars. I mean, if it lifts a telehandler. Hey, watch my car. Watch my car. Oh, you got lucky on that one. Jeez. All right, full speed. Full speed. Come on. I forgot forklifts were slow. Oh, oh, he's making it. 
All right, boys. Well, I think that was the most genius idea I've ever had, and we are loaded up. Mako? Oh, man, I don't know about that. Mako, I don't know about that, man. Your car's squatting. It's fine. Okay, if you say it's fine, go ahead, drive. Drive on back. I'll follow you. I'll let you know if anything falls off, but we're strapped down. Uh, The forks are sticking on the telehandler. Hold on. Solve that problem. You're going to be uh, about 30 feet high, so just be careful with the street poles. Drive on the left side of the road and you'll be good. Hi, Stacy. All right, let's close up the gate behind us here. Check that out. Hydraulic gate looking good. All right, we're about two minutes out and the customer said he's going to be coming in at 11 o'clock. He's almost here. He said he lives about 35 minutes out of the town, so it was a little bit of a drive for him. We're the closest dealership he's got, though, so he's got no choice if he wants to go electric. But Mako made it back. Looks good. He's going to get the equipment unloaded, and we're going to wait for the customer to pull in, and we're going to see what he wants. But i got to charge my Tesla. This thing is almost on E. All right, plug it in here. Here we go. All right, Tesla's charging. Look at the new equipment. Perfect. All right, we're going to wait for the customer to pull in. It's going to be a loud vehicle. Hellcats are known to being a loud car, so we're going to wait for him. Here he is. Jack is rolling in. Check that thing out. I never thought I would like a gas vehicle. How's it going, man? All right, Jack, I got lots of options for you today. Welcome to Tesla. We're going to try and get you out of this gas vehicle, man. I know gas price is over five bucks right now. You can pay off this car in like a day. So let's get you into Tesla. So let's go check out some models. Follow me. Over here, we got the Model X lineups. We got just about every color you can get. And uh, mine's for sale too. I have the black one over there. If you're ever interested in that, we can always flip you into that. I mean, I just run lot vehicles. So if you're interested, let me know. We got orange ones, red one, white one. We got honestly any color. We can order one for you. And uh, yeah, so we can take a look in one if you want. Let me pop open all the doors. There we go. Leather seats. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, seven seats. You can get your whole family in there. No problem. Uh, it does really good in the snow. I know it snows sometimes where you live, so... It does really great. It's got four-wheel drive and, you know, huge screen in the middle. You can watch Netflix on, everything. So, this is the Model X. And then, obviously, you're like a sports car guy. So, you know, we got the Model S's over here. These are high performance, less seating, but they have the, the big package, you know, that you can get around the city in. So, this is super nice. Hop in real quick. Wood accent on here. Huge screen. Fold-in mirrors, too. Everything's super nice on this. All right, anyway, so let's move on. The last vehicle I have is a semi-truck. I know you're not going to want one, but I'm going to show you anyways. We got them in last week. They're gigantic. They can pull anything. Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good vehicles. If you were interested in a semi, this is the one that you should buy. So what do you think? Which one do you want to go with today? Are you interested in one? Uh, I really like the Model X. That's nice. Model X? Okay, what, what color do you think you'd go on it? That white looks pretty nice with the black wheels. The white with black wheels. Okay, I do have that right out front. Um, we could go with that one. That one's going to cost you a little bit more. It's about $130,000 with the included long-range package. Oof. If you were looking to spend that, though, we could take the trade-in on your Hellcat. I know that's about 55000 So here, pull up to the office. We'll sign some paperwork here. So so what do you think? So we're going to do that one, 120 I guess so. Hey, I'll give you a deal. I'll give you a deal. We're going to throw in a scooter with it, okay? $1,000 electric scooter. Got the brand new ones. You ready to close this deal? You think you're going to do it? Yeah, it's a done deal. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Sign here and here. And then uh, just cut me a check for one twenty-four dollars even. I'll give you a little discount, and then we'll throw in the scooter. So one twenty-four thousand nine nine nine. dollars 999 All right. Perfect. Yep. Let me just put it in the computer real quick. All right, white with black wheels is sold. It's all yours. Okay, let's get you set up. That one's ready to go off a lot today, so we just got to take your Hellcat in. Uh, we need the title, registration, everything like that, and then you can call your insurance company, switch on over to a Tesla, and actually, you're going to get a better rate in your insurance because it's more of a safer vehicle. It has a lot more features for safety capabilities, and you know it, it drives itself, so... All right, guys, I'm going to put this in the back, and we're going to send him off. He's going to be ready to go. All right, let's go. Here, I got your card. This is what you use every time you get inside the Tesla. It's a card, not a key. Ooh. So you just swipe it on the dash there, and then uh, you're good to go. So hop in. Click the button on the panel. It should fold everything in for you. 
There you go. Perfect. All right, Jack. Well, thanks for the uh, business, man. I appreciate you. You're one of our first customers, too. We don't even have the grand opening. You gave me a call, and I was like, all right, well, we're basically ready. So first customer, welcome in, and thanks for coming in, Jack. Enjoy the Tesla. Thank you. I will. There he goes. Another satisfied customer. Hey, wait. Why is he driving on the lawn? Oh, it's not my vehicle anymore. Anyways, guys, that's going to end out today's Tesla video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up on today's video and subscribe so we can hit our goal of 100K. We're getting close. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.